Hey guys, Steve here. Today I'm back with my motorized bicycle and today we're going to be doing another bike upgrade. Now this is the first motorized bicycle I built and a lot of the comments that I get on both the videos for the bikes I built was a lot of people are concerned with this chain tensioner that is on the back, back wheel. Now a lot of people's concern is that this chain tensioner, um, is some people consider it a death trap and I understand what they're saying. Now, if these bolts were to come loose on this tensioner, um, there is the possibility that the chain could pull the tensioner inward towards the spokes. And if this got pulled in too far, uh, the spokes could hit it and then it could destroy your back wheel and possibly throw you off the bike. So I'm gonna be replacing the stock chain tensioner with one that I picked up off of Amazon for $15. Now, we are gonna be completely removing the tensioner back here and we're going to be using these parts to put a tensioner up here near the sprocket uh, that is in the engine. So it comes with a few parts. We just have to easily put them together. Unfortunately, there is no manual that came with, uh, with these parts. But if you just look at the picture from Amazon, you see how this thing is put together. So we're going to put this together. And then we are going to bolt this right here onto the engine block. So we're just going to remove these three screws that hold on this cover plate that is on the sprocket in the engine. Um, and we're going to be replacing it um, with these new bolts that come with the kit. Now this chain guard that is on the bike actually gets connected to this long bolt right here. Now I'm not sure if these bolts are going to be long enough to allow us to do that again. Uh, so we might have to figure out another way to hook the chain uh, guard uh, back onto the bike. So let's go ahead and we'll put this together and we'll start adding this onto the bike. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this tensioner. Next, we're gonna remove the three screws that are on this cover. So these are our parts. We're just gonna take this big piece, little piece, put those together with this little short screw. So a little short screw in there, in there, add the nut, we'll tighten that down later. Next we'll take our spring, put that through one of these two small hoops, put that in that hole, then this tensioner can go in any of these holes depending on how you how tight you need it. So we'll just stick that through with our nut. We'll tighten that all down and then these three individual bolts go through here. And this gets bolted onto the bike. So with all those screws removed, we're gonna leave this plate here and we're just gonna throw this right up on top here. And we're gonna use these included bolts to uh, just re-put everything back together. So I took the chain guard off just so we can get access to this a little bit better. But we, the last thing I'm gonna put on is this little idle wheel here. And it goes on there. And we'll tighten it down. Now you can see that this chain is getting held on by the spring. Now, if this is too loose, you might have to remove an extra link out of your chain just to make it a little bit more tighter. So we'll see how this works. And uh, if I need to, I'll remove an extra link. Now, when it comes to this chain guard, I end up having to cut a hole into it just because this chain tensioner uh, kind of got in the way here. And since I'm not able to screw into the back here because this bolt isn't long enough, I went ahead and I put a small hole into uh, into here. So I put this small hole into the chain guard and I'm going to run a small piece of wire through that hole into here and this will keep this chain guard uh, in place here. And then I'll just use a uh, zip tie like I did before on the back side and that should take care of it. So there it is. This is a pretty simple project to do. This only took me a couple minutes to throw onto the bike. Um, replacing this chain tensioner is a pretty good idea considering what could happen if this was to fail. If these screws were to come loose, this could easily tip into your spokes, causing you to destroy your entire rear wheel 
and possibly throwing you off the bike. Now for $15, um, it's a pretty good investment. Um, it does come in black and it also comes in silver if you do have the silver engine kit. Um, I will leave a link down below if you want to check them out on Amazon. Like I said, I picked it up for $15. Modifying this chain guard was pretty simple to do. Like I said, I just cut out a simple circle out of it so I could keep this on here. Um, now you obviously do not need this chain guard on the bike, but it is a good idea to perfect, protect your jeans and other clothes. Now I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I will have more bike videos coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.